It's that night. It's now or never. So we had this covering that was on all the walls and all the doors. I've taken most of it off. We took it all off on the walls when we did the insulation. This is one of the last two remaining. The side door, I think, still has it also. So we'll take this off so we can put more permanent things in the space back there because it actually gives us more space when we take this off. So I just have to drill these little things out. Sorry, Miriam. Miriam doesn't like loud noises. Tracing letters, practicing writing letters, or is it? Oh, that's numbers. Okay. Paul is cleaning that surface because I'm gonna have to stick some silicone on it to put <laughs> to, yeah. to glue in some Velcro. My, my project for today would be to put a mosquito net on the back. All right. It's gonna be a magnetic mosquito net, just like the one that we already have installed here at the front door. So this was the first one that we installed and as you can see, it, it's magnetic. So once you get inside, it closes. Okay, so it's that easy and it's already saved us from a lot of mosquito bites in the first few days that it's been installed. And so we're excited to have another one set up here at the back so we can keep this door open. Okay, so this is the mosquito net curtain that we're gonna hang up here at the back door. And usually you can just tack it up or use double-sided tape. But since I want it to be here only semi-permanently, sometimes I would want to probably wash it, I need it to be detachable. So I'm gonna use Velcro. So hook and loop, I'm gonna put the hook part onto the frame of the door because I don't want the hook part to be attached to the curtain itself. In case I put it in the washing machine, it's just gonna make things very very hard to untangle afterwards and the loop onto the, the curtain which I will be sewing on using the sewing machine later so for now I'm gonna start with this top part which I'm going to silicone to the door frames okay here goes Velcro that I need to put on this and after this it's onto the loop part which will be sewn onto the mosquito net curtain. Okay so this would take 24 hours to cure so we're just going to leave this as is and we're not even gonna try to stick the mosquito net today because this but from our experience with the first one it needs a lot of time to harden and to actually stick.
I'm gonna come in. Let's see if this curtain closes by itself. All right, here it goes. Whoops. Whoop. Did it oh, go? Oh, yeah. Did it go? Yeah, it went. It goes right. by itself. All right. Cool. I just have to trim that, trim that the bottom part to make it, make it uh, not be uh, protruding on the outside, but so far so good. The only thing is this part is a bane of our existence. Yeah. So I don't know if it's all L three hundreds that have been modified or all L three hundreds in general, but they have this thing. This thing is on the door. Can it, did for, it? That locks it. This is where you open and close it, and it protrudes so it's far out. Really gonna oh, get in the way of our yeah. shower. Yeah. This one is so big. Okay, Mary. All right. This we thought it was a mailbox. <laughs> it's so big. And this one is so far out from the wall. It, it it's just gonna it's yeah. probably gonna get hit a lot. And that, that's our shower space right there. Yeah. So when yeah. you close the door, like it'd be plenty of room if that wasn't there. But with that being yeah. there, it's just like right in your side. Yeah. If you happen to be an L three hundred FB owner and you have successfully replaced this mechanism, please let us know what you did, what parts what parts you replaced it with. And we would really, really love no. to have these replaced. Yeah. Some other thing that's not as bulky was gonna be better. This is the yeah. kitchen. It that's is? The kitchen. Okay. And I've made these curtains. These are blackout curtains that we just cut from what we had in our room already. So this piece, and this piece, and this piece. And actually, on this side, I use blackout curtains really. Uh, our game changer so in the morning when the sun comes we had it closed like that and we had a few more extra hours of sleep because the sun wasn't uh, glaring in our eyes and that was that actually helped a lot now that we we have this set up this allows us to close the curtains if we need complete privacy if, for example if we are parked out in public and we want to sleep we just pull all the curtains shut and with all these in there it's actually very dark because it completely blocks out the sun. For van lifers it's very important to have privacy curtains like this. We also got these magnetic curtain tie bags there. They're there. there. So they're magnetic. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, we love them. They're and magnets. Yeah, whatever happened to the other one over here? You already over lost it? Oh. Oh. That's See, <laughs> the nice thing about these is that be uh, because they're magnetic and we're in a metal box, if we don't want to have them on, we can just stick them to a wall like this. Yeah, just like that. So when we want to close the curtains, we can just stick the magnets to the wall. Like that. And they'll be there next time we need them. You like it, Miriam? Yeah! Another modern problem that we have to contend with with uh, organizing stuff is what to do with all our power cords. So an ordinary household would probably have a few cell phones, a laptop, iPad, or other electrical appliances that need to be uh, plugged in to the power source at any particular time. So what I did was I put all the cables that I don't uh, use on a regular basis like every other day in this acrylic organizer. They're, they are already labeled so it's easy to fly, uh, figure out which is which and then the ones that are almost always plugged in are kept in this um, organizer this is a special box where you can keep things plugged in to extension cords so I have a long extension cord in there and this is where I plug in the things that we almost never unplug like the fan the light and our uh, charger for a phone and iPad so all the other things can um, be plugged in at will by uh, unplugging the others and also I have labeled them so that it's easy for anybody to figure out which is which and it helps that you have if you have these cable ties which are velcro you know, it came as a freebie from some of our Lazada purchases it's pretty pretty nice freebie to get and those that are not that need to be charged like these this is for the iPad iPad stays here Plug it, plug it in here. So everything electrical goes in here. Problem is, this wasn't actually designed to be our charging station. But for now, we are using this because we don't have a lot of clothes yet here. We are using two levels supposed to that are supposed to be for our closet. Our clothes are in here. 
Originally, this had this is supposed to have five of these cloth boxes, but since we are still transitioning and we have still a lot of storage space to build, this will do for now. Another thing I found on Lazada are these waterproof chalkboard stickers. You use this special paint pen that uh, marks letters in white, so you can get a classy effect. So you can you can label your stuff just like these. So I already used them for our jars of sugar, tea, and cream, and some other things. These are actually Tic Tac dispensers that I repurposed to put Paul's and my um, maintenance medicine. These are our new fleece blankets that we ordered online, which are perfect for the cold nights we've been having lately. And we also ordered some cotton pillowcases. This came with a bed sheet that is double size, but I had to take it off because we already spilled coffee on it. Well, actually, Miriam did. Not that she takes coffee, but she spilled my coffee on it. In the mirror, and there's three of them. One, two, three. It's three mirrors, but uh, it looks like a big mirror. I like how the mirror doubles the size of the, the van, so it seems. Like, sitting from this angle, it looks like the, the van goes on. <laughs> These are explosion proof mirrors that we got online, so it's important that it's explosion proof because we're in a moving vehicle and we don't want anything that might potentially shatter into a billion pieces in here. That's right, Miriam? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why you're showing everybody your foot. Your yucky foot. Come on, Miriam. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, try this one. Yeah, so things have been going great. It's not a fast build because, you know, resources are not infinite. So we're doing it as we can little by little while we're already living in it. And Miriam is very excited because she has her new oh, <laughs> ukulele and I have mine too. So hopefully one of these days we can play something decent for you. And as always, sending love from the Philippines! Can she actually reach the camera? Ah! Woo! <laughs> that was a stretch. <laughs>